Welcome back to another Pro Tools quick tip. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to change the pitch of an audio clip in Pro Tools using a simple stock function that Avid provides so you won't have to go out and purchase any special plugins to make this happen, although you could. But in this case, we're just gonna be using the stock pitch shifter in Pro Tools. And we're not gonna be using the audio plugin version. We're actually gonna be going into Audio Suite because we're gonna be printing the pitch shift um, straight onto the audio track. You can do it either way, but I recommend this way if you're a sound editor or a sound designer because you'll just, you know, it'll just make your editing process a lot more efficient than having like dozens of, you know, tracks shifted to different pitches or something like that. So I'm not gonna get into that. Let's just go ahead and do things the simple way for now. So what you wanna do, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is duplicate the original file that you're gonna be working with because you may or may not want to layer this with the new affected um, audio clip. But let's say you don't, you can actually just you know mute it afterwards and have it as a backup just in case something goes wrong. Because remember, you cannot backtrack. So if you save and close your Pro Tools session, you cannot come back and undo it later on. So I suggest having a backup of your original file. So to duplicate, we're just gonna hold down Option if you're on Mac and just drag the clip down to duplicate it. And in this case, we're gonna mute the original. So Command M. And now we're gonna want to go into Audio Suite having selected our new clip and we're gonna go into Avid because I have things organized by manufacturer. It is an Avid uh, function. And over here, you're gonna have two options. You have Pitch Shift Legacy, which as the name suggests, is the original pitch shifter that was you know, available in the older versions of Pro Tools. So if you like that algorithm for some reason, you can go ahead and click this. But in our case, we're gonna hit Pitch Shift 2 because it's more contemporary. Let's leave it at that. So anyways, in Pitch Shift 2, you have basically three different ways of measuring the pitch shift that you're gonna be doing to your audio clip. So you have a musical keyboard here for reference. If you want to work in semitones, you're gonna to wanna to go in course. And let's say we wanna bring it down by a perfect fifth in musical terms. You're gonna to wanna to do negative seven semitones and you can actually fine tune it, okay? And this is in sense, so if you, know, if you wanna really get precise, you know, and like get microtonal and tune things that way, you can go ahead and do that. Or you can simply use a ratio, okay, from the, start, from the get go, if you wanna just not get music involved in this process. I leave that up to you. I'm not gonna get into more details, but this is basically it. And honestly, I wouldn't even pay attention to these other, um, uh, these other variables, not that important. We just want to pitch shift for the time being. So we just want to leave it at, at negative seven semitones for now. And you can go ahead and preview it before you commit to this. But since we have a backup and, you know, like we're just trying to make this quick, I'm going to go ahead and hit render. And there you go. So you have a audio clip that's been pitch shifted down seven semitones and you can go ahead and repeat this process on as many audio clips as you want and even do the process again on the same audio clip if you wish. So that's pretty much all there is to it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me uh, your question in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Other than that, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Pro Tools quick tips just like this one.